Hey gang, Evan Sutton here. I'm the senior sound design instructor here at DubSpot in New York City and online. I'm here with Ableton Live 9, and today I wanted to talk about some of the updates that they've done to the MIDI editing capabilities here for version 9. Ableton Live has been a little behind as far as MIDI editing is concerned. Uh, Logic, for example, has had a really powerful MIDI editor for quite some time, and Ableton Live is sort of starting to catch up. There's some really cool stuff going on here. So let's go ahead and take a look. I've got a little beat here that we're going to be working with. Let's take a listen. All right, so I'm going to start out by just double clicking on a region here and let's go ahead and just repeat that. So I'm just going to double click on this region and we're going to see these new tools down at the bottom left of our screen. And so We've got halftime, double time, reverse, invert, legato, duplicate region. So I'm going to talk about a few of these. Let's go ahead and start out with reverse. So if I go ahead and I highlight some notes, it's going to go ahead and just flip them around. I'm going to hit it again. And so I can also go ahead and I can hit invert, and that's going to invert the pitches. Keep the same rhythm, but it's going to invert the pitches, so it's going to flip them around. We can also invert and reverse. <laughs> Pretty wild, huh? Oop. There we go, back to normal, just hit it a few times. So that's reverse and invert. And these are really cool because these are actually compositional techniques that are used when writing melodies and things like that. So this is a really nice little tool to have here. And if you've heard of retrograde, that's actually just reversing a phrase, uh, kind of like we're doing here. And by the way, I can just click in the background of a region. I don't need to select particular notes to do this. If I use any of these without selecting a particular note, it'll just do it to every note in the region. Let's go over to our drums here. And we've got a couple of other tools here that we can use. So let me just solo these. And this half time and double time is pretty cool. So So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to going to going to take a couple of things here and I'm just going to go ahead and I'll click here and that's going to double time it. That's always fun. That might be a little much, but we can also half time it. And let me actually go ahead and just make a little room for this. This might be this might be kind of a nice thing to use for some transitions and things like that. It also works great for melodies, sort of spreading them out or chord changes. and we're looping here. But that's actually working pretty nicely. The other place where you could use this really easily is of course, like on chords or on melodies or things like that. So maybe I could just go ahead here and select a few notes and just uh, speed them up a little bit. Use, use these guys right here. And maybe we'll do that. And then we can always make them take a little bit longer. Again, all of these sort of yield some different musical results. The last thing I'm going to mention is a great cleanup tool, and it's it can be really nice because it's something that can be quite time consuming if you have to go around editing a lot of notes, and it can be helpful depending on the synthesizer you're using, which settings you have, but it's a, it's a legato feature, okay? So if you're a Logic user, you may recognize the word legato because you can do a forced legato in Logic, and all this is going to do is clean up overlapping notes, so it'll prevent that, but it can also shorten and lengthen notes so that they are as close as they can be without overlapping. So let me just select this chord and I'll hit legato and see now it's not overlapping with this other chord that's happening here. Now if I undo that and I hit legato on both of these, then you're going to notice that this is now lengthened so that it's brushing up against this next one that's being hit. Let's hit legato for this one. 
and we can even make it longer. But uh, this is a great function. Legato is super handy for cleaning things up. There are a lot of occasions where uh, you really may need something like this, and it'll really save you a lot of time. So all in all, these new MIDI features should enhance the workflow, and they can also spark creativity a little bit. You can sort of take some stuff that you've already created and uh, see if you can change it into something new and reinvent it a little bit, which is a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed this exploration of Ableton Live 9. My name is Evan Sutton. You can catch me at astrolith.net and uh, check out some of my other tutorials on the DubSpot YouTube page. You can find those also on my website. I hope you enjoyed hanging today. I'll see you on down the dusty trail. Welcome to DubSpot. We believe in providing you hands-on experience right away. Whether you're completely new to music and want to turn the sounds in your head into a musical reality, or you're an experienced artist looking to refine your skills and add new tools to your arsenal, we're ready to meet you at your level. For students of all ages, all levels, and all styles of music, DubSpot is here to help you achieve your goals. With course offerings both online wherever you are and at our school in the heart of New York City, we are ready to guide you through the next phase of your musical transformation. Whether you want to produce music, DJ, or do both, you've come to the right place. Come explore DubSpot for yourself. Become a part of our community and make music.